This lesson will extend our thoughts about part-to-part -part versus part-to-whole. So part-to-part -part ratios always do just exactly as they say in their title. They describe a part-to-part. -part. So part-to-part -part ratios are shown in this picture below. The ratio of apples to strawberries is 3 to 2, and the ratio of strawberries to apples is 2 to 3. When you do a part to a whole ratio, you're looking at everything combined. So in this case, the whole would be the total fruit. So the ratio of apples to total fruit is 3 to 5, because there's 3 apples and 5 pieces of fruit. The ratios of strawberries to total fruit is 2 to 5, because there's 2 strawberries and 5 pieces of total fruit. So I want you to try it. So pause the video, see if you can answer these questions about the picture below. So first I want you to write a part-to-part -part ratio to describe the ratio of dogs to cats, and then I want you to write a part-to-whole ratio to describe the ratio of cats to animals. So in this case, we see that there are three dogs and four cats, so our ratio of dogs to cats is three to four, and the order is important because we said dogs first and then cats. The second one, write a part-to-whole ratio to describe the ratio of cats to animals. Well, there are four cats and seven total animals, so the ratio of cats to animals is 4 to 7. And again, it's fine if you wrote your ratios in other ways, like 3, 4, so 3, 2, 4, okay, 4 sevenths, or 4, 2, 7. All of these are fine for ratios. Okay, here's an extension. This is a typical problem where you would have to make sure you're knowing, noticing whether you have part to part or part to whole, and you might have to go a little further. So here it says the ratio of cats to dogs in our neighborhood is 4 to 3. So notice that's a part-to-part -part ratio. We're comparing cats to dogs. But then it says if there are 35 total pets, cats and dogs only, so I'm looking at a whole there, how many of the pets are cats? So if you're given a problem like this, you probably want to take your part-to-part -part and start thinking about a part-to-whole. So notice if there's four cats, for every three dogs, but I need to figure out how many cats there are compared to how many of the pets. So four cats and three dogs means a total of four plus three is seven pets. So I'm going to do the ratio of cats to pets. That ratio is four to seven. That's going to be really important because I know that there's 35 total pets. So if I'm trying to figure out the cats to pets is 4 to 7, this is cats to pets, and I want to see it, that equals what out of 35, then again I can scale this up. So 7 times 5 is 35, 4 times 5 is 20. So it looks like 20 to 35 is equivalent to 4 to 7, so there are 20 cats. Okay, which you might have also figured out that means there have to be 15 dogs.